This is where it all began to come together inside and outside of Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? This is where we presented the things that we bringing out to the world, you know? Spillage Village headquarters. We came into it with the perspective of Let's make some music that's ours. Let's make some music that feels original. Let's make some music that feels different. Put it out there and see what happens. It's just raw material here, raw energy, raw diamonds, raw gold. Right here in Atlanta, Georgia, through everything that everybody goes to, raw material here to take and do something with. The light I saw in him, the light he saw in me was like, I don't really care about what nobody thinks. Having that kind of attitude, having that kind of spirit, you attract more people like it, and you don't care what they think when you love your identity strong enough, and that's really all you need. If you take fashion or things like Parliament Funkadelic, those guys back in the day, they was jumping out in diapers and lightning bolts on their shoulders and spaceships on their sets. It was people back in those days who was looking at them like, what are those guys on? Those guys are tripping. But now today in this day and age, that freedom and that, that fearlessness still has an effect on generations to come. So that is what influences me and my music. Knowing your identity, establishing your identity within yourself and then seeing it through, you know what I'm saying? Being impeccable with it, being impeccable in your word. Like that's where it comes to more than anything, like just to be be steadfast in your beliefs. Cole's a good dude, man. He looked out for us when nobody else was looking out. He believed early, and he had a lot of mutual respect. Yeah, he don't try to change the sound. Yeah, he don't yeah. try to change the sound at all. He let us come in. Oh, that's what you want to do? All right, that's fine. Listen to this, all right? I like people that are addicted to this. They're like just creating. 